If you're under the age of 25, you need to watch this video right now. I'm gonna share with you something that you probably won't experience until you're in or around the age of 25 that I myself have experienced and millions of other men have once they hit the age of 25. <laughs> I'm just kidding guys, I'm not that old, okay? But a lot of people at about the age of 25, they realize, wow, I'm starting to get old. You still feel like a million bucks. Everybody's still there to hang out with you. Most of your friends, maybe they started graduating their programs and now they have jobs. They're working full time. They relocated to a specific city. There's not as many guys on Xbox Live every Friday and Saturday. You go and you look at the little circles on social media to see their stories and they're not posting as much. That's because they're basically an adult now. So they have more responsibility. And because of that, it changes their life. Don't worry guys, you're not gonna die as soon as you hit 25. You're not gonna all of a sudden be super depressed, but there is something that's gonna change in your body. So up until about the age of 25, your life is about you. It's about what you wanna do. Your parents are super supportive. You can go to school for whatever you want. You can be this, you could be that. You tell your friends, everybody's super supportive. Like if you wanna be a musician, everybody shows up to your concert. You play a show in a garage or a backyard, all your friends are there. They're all taking videos, photos, posting on their social media. If you're like, yo guys, let's go to Europe. Let's go to Cuba or whatever it is. A couple of your buddies are probably down. If you drop out of school to pursue something, everybody's really supportive. You have such a leniency by society, right? Because you're young, you're a student or you're just figuring things out. You're good looking, you're energetic. You're usually very happy. And studies have actually shown that back in the day, a lot of people's peak happiness levels is around the age of 22 to 25 years old because they got out of high school. So if they had some kind of bullying or something, now they're out of that. They feel good. They're treated better by people around them. They're not judged as hard. They don't get bullied as much. They can make friends that they weren't able to in high school because they're in college or university. They're treated like an adult, right? They aren't bullied as much like a lot of guys are when they're young. And they also start to get more successful with women. Back in the day, most guys lost their virginity around 17, 18. Up until then, you're a nervous wreck because until you actually hook up with a girl, you don't know like, oh, is there something wrong with me, right? So after you get that out of the way, after you get your first relationship heartbreak out of the way, it gives you so much confidence. So all of these things happen at about the same time for most of the population, that 18 to 25 window. This includes, you know, losing your virginity, moving out of your parents' house, and you start to live with others. You live with friends. Maybe you have your own place. You get a car, you start paying bills, you start going on dates, you start having control of your life. like. All these new experiences come. And then at the same time, you're really good looking because you're young, you have all this energy, you're strong, you're just willing to try new things. And the weight of the world is not on your shoulders. It's not even close, right? But then as you get closer to 25, all of that changes. Let's say you're a comedian, an actor, an athlete, somebody that is very successful and wealthy. You could literally be 21 years old until you're 80. You know what I mean? Like think about all these guys that are successful actors that are still going out there, making fun movies, meeting with fans, going out, partying, drinking, making content. Everybody loves them. Life's good. They do what they want. Like if you're a comedian, you're basically making a living acting like a kid. You're just making jokes because everybody's so serious because, oh, we have to do this work. But if you're a comedian, that's your job. So there are ways for you to basically be a 21 year old or a 25 year old forever. But that's besides the point. We're talking about most people. What happens during this time is most people, they have all this momentum, they get out of college, university, they go into the work world. And then if they made the wrong decision about what it is that they wanted to do for the rest of their life, it hits them hard. All of a sudden they're 25, 26 and they're like, man, I don't even like this program. I don't know why I went into this. My interests have changed because so much changes over those four years you're in school for a degree or diploma that you end up getting into this work world that you never even wanted to. And now your life's like very predictable. It's like nine to five, nine to five, do this, do that. And then you're like, oh, I kind of feel stuck. Even if you do love your job, maybe you start to feel lonely because all the time you used to spend with friends on weekdays, weekends, all those guys, they're stuck in their jobs too. So they don't have the same energy. So Friday and Saturday, when all the boys and girls used to hang out, it just doesn't happen anymore because everybody has their own things to do. And then over time, you start to get used to being by yourself. While you're by yourself, you're coping. So you're like, okay, well, I guess I'll play some video games or oh, I guess I like watching TV or I guess I like going on the internet. And then you start to get used to that and that becomes your new normal. And now by 25, 26, you're used to being by yourself multiple days a week, which isn't a bad thing, right? Every man should be able to be independent of spending time with others and still be okay. But 
if you are now by yourself, you're putting all these vices in and you're lonely and you're just kind of stuck, that's what's going to make you really depressed. And then as you get closer to 30, you are closing the window, what you think you have to do something else. Because there's this misconception. Once you go to school for one thing, you can never do anything else. You can't go back a second time. You can't decide to quit that job and switch industries. You can't travel, blah, blah, blah. You have to save up, get a house. And then we get stuck in that. And because of that, people don't have a backup plan. And then as you get closer to 30, oh boy, now all your friends are starting to get wifed up. They're starting to get into relationships. They're starting to get better paying salaries because they're getting promoted at their job. Now they don't have time to hang out with you. They don't have time to support your stuff because they have to worry about themselves. And you're like, oh God, like, what do I do now? And that's when you get frozen and you're terrified to make a change. So you're like, all right, let me just keep doing this. And then you keep doing that thing. And then you wake up, you're 40, you're 50. And you're like, I did not want to do any of this. And that's when you have a midlife crisis. So my theory is that people are starting to have midlife crises much younger at about 25. They have a quarter life crisis, so to speak. And the reason this is, is because at around 25, all the momentum stops. The music stops. You're out of school. You're not hanging out with your friends as much. And you're forced to become an adult. You're working full time. Now, if you're an entrepreneur or you really like what you do, different story. You could just be a playboy forever. And I encourage you guys to really chase that because that is priceless. Like I haven't had a normal job in over five years now, guys. It's been about five years and that's amazing. I love it. I have to work really hard and there's definitely ups and downs because, you know, when you're an entrepreneur at times, you're very lonely and you have to go long periods of time without spending time with people. And also you look at all your other friends and they're not doing anything that they should be. And you're like, guys, like I can only imagine what's going to happen to you in a couple of years if you stay on this path. What I'm getting at with this video, guys, is that as much as you feel young, energetic, excited and interested in the things that you are now, a couple years from now, when you are fully matured at about 25, everything could change. Like I used to be obsessed with like drinking and partying and I thought it was the funnest thing ever. Just random chicks all the time. And I still do to an extent like doing all those things, but it was such a narrow view. That was like looking through binoculars and being above the age of 25. Now it's like I see everything else in the room and I know what really makes me feel better. There's an old saying that if you're a conservative before 25, you have no heart. But if you aren't a conservative after the age of 25, then you have no brain. And that's because when you get thrown out into the real world, you understand how things work. Life is ruthless, guys. It is savage. How expensive it is, how time consuming it is, all the different things that could hit you out of nowhere. And when you're young, healthy, good looking, in shape, it's pretty easy to get a pass on just about everything. Nobody judges you. Nobody expects anything from you. So it's nice. But then 25 is the first taste of like, yo, you're an actual adult now. You're the one steering the ship. Nobody's holding your hand anymore. And people have higher expectations the older you get. So I hope this video motivated all you guys that are under the age of 25. And if you are 25 or older, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Am I on point? Am I off? I think that everybody's different. For some people, this is a wake up call when they're 15. For others, it's a wake up call when they're like 40 years old, right? In other countries in the world, they don't really have a choice to do what they want. They don't get that opportunity. So like they almost skip over all the stuff that we do that brings us all this joy. And then we have to go to no joy. And so there's a comparison. But these guys, <laughs> they never had joy in the first place. So even a little change, they experience great joy. That's kind of the message I'm getting at, guys. This could affect everybody differently, but I'm very curious what your thoughts are on this. If you want to talk to like-minded guys and girls that are also on a self-improvement journey, trying to start a business, trying to get a better career, trying to improve their social skills, etc., be sure to join the Discord. And there's a bunch of cool stuff in my newsletter as well. I just started doing it. Just join the link in the description below. Just sign up with your email below and then I'll send you cool tips. I'll let you know when I upload new videos like this. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you did, next one to watch is going to appear on the screen right here. Peace.